Hey guys, I hope everyone's well. Um, it is time for you guys to have some real value. We're going to leave the team with some awesome tangible um, results and requirements to leave this meeting with so that way you guys can go ahead and make some awesome changes and really take off your business. Um, we're no longer playing nice guy. We want some real hustlers in the team. We want some real hustlers in our programs. And Abbas and I have agreed that it's now time to push you guys along more further than you guys have ever pushed along before. Mm -hmm. So the pressure is going to be on. We're going to have weekly personal challenges. Mm -hmm. We want to get Team McCall up on that leader, leadership board. Okay? We want to get the, team, the, the people who we mentor on that leadership board. We want to get people who want to change their life on that leadership board. And the reason why they changed the leadership board is because once we were in Gaz, mm. the first 100 mm. for every single person. So, um, you know, the first 30, like, who's on the most um, sales in seven days? Exactly how it is now. That's exactly how, how it was, is yeah. now. That's how it well, it took a while. I remember when I first started, um, I was up there with um, Clint and Chris. Mm. They have, they have, if you guys don't know who they are, they got over, over 100 success on Nathan. These guys have so much success, they don't know what to do with them. Yep. And I remember I used to compete with them. Because of this way. always, you know, neck to neck, always with me, yeah. Brody, and, uh, yeah. and Jeremiah. So, our aim is to get Team McCall up there. We want to be on that yacht with Brody. And in order for us to be up there with Brody, what is it, 250 yeah, group, group sales? sales? Yeah. Combined. Combined. And I want to be on that yacht. <laughs> we would definitely want to be on that yacht. And if we don't get you guys up there, guess what's going to happen? No, we're we're going to miss out. We're not going on the freaking yacht. Um, and obviously, Abbas and I will obviously do our own things with our team once we get up there once we see some hustlers once we see the motivation the dedication the inspiration we're definitely going to take you guys by like we underneath our wing and there's no secret why it's called team McCall, right yeah. it's because when you first start this business i actually came across this analogy today when you first start this business you start to fly so if you guys have ever had a bird there's three or four flight feathers here mm. right but in order for really to take off you need these feathers to work as well so you can take off with these ones but you can't take off and glide unless you have the wings underneath mm, i don't think they'll get it unless they're in birds well if you've ever owned a bird or you've ever looked at a bird they have four flight feathers four or five flight feathers and then the rest of them is flying feathers so that's what we want to help you guys do so we're going to leave you guys with requirements we're going to leave you guys with an awesome checklist. So if you guys haven't jumped into Team McCall, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to show you guys exactly what you guys need to um, download. I uploaded it in Team McCall just a couple hours ago. This. I need every single person to download this. I need every single person to print this out, label it. Good girl, Cleo. Um, laminate it. If you laminate it, it will be very, very good. Reason being is because you can use a whiteboard marker and tick it and re wipe it and reuse it. Yeah. Okay? <clears throat> so that's one so can we please um have a good solid five to ten minutes about some wins yeah, it could be personal ones it could be anything like anything. anything at all yeah you know it doesn't have to be a business it could be anything yeah i'll give you a tripod <laughs> yeah so just um you can either pop it in the chat and we'll read it out no no i want people getting comments I want people to talk <clears throat> all right <laughs> then no no chat talk yeah. it out out loud let's go let's go, go. Let's go. <laughs> got a tripod yeah but if there's more to it you know like you told me you know. yeah there's more to it mm. but in the end she actually got a tripod and mm. the tripod is a symbol of support and acceptance right mm. <coughs> yeah it's a yeah. massive so thing congratulations i hope you feel good about it yeah i do i do yeah <laughs> we got some new earphones you with headphones yeah nice. oh no i've i've had these i just um, because I'm using an old laptop, ah. I guess it's easier to hear you better. Yeah, cool. you keep breaking out in between. Okay, mm. cool. I understand. It's all good. We got the. We're gonna provide you guys with the replay anyway. So if you guys like, if we mm. cut out anywhere, we do apologize. Our internet's not the best down here. Oh, I must say, Aziza's energy lately. I've been seeing it for the videos. Aziza's energy is yep. like really, really high. Mm. Aziza, where'd where you go? Where'd you go? She's right there. there. I think she's off camera. Oh, there she is. Aziza, can you unmute yourself, please? Share some energy. Give us some energy, please. I don't know. <laughs> hey. Hey. Just, just hey. Hey, y'all doing? What's up? <laughs> what have you been up to? Like, yeah, what, just what you, hey. We need. What have been eating? Uh, I don't know. What have been eating? Well, today I had um, hashish, which is green stuff. <laughs> mm. 
I know how she feels. There's so much green stuff too. <laughs> like we had green stuff today as well, but we had um spinach. Yeah. Uh, mixed green stuff. Anything from the garden. Oh, okay, yeah. fair enough. I want to hear from the latest person, Jack. And uh, today. Sorry, I thought you were Sorry, keep going, keep going. No, no, go. <laughs> no, like actually, she stopped talking. I thought she was finished. Yeah, yeah I thought she'd cut out. I know, Jack. I know, oh, Jack is member. And how are you liking the experience so far? Are you pushing yourself every single day? Are you talking to me? Yeah, yeah Jack. Yeah, Jack. Is that internet really bad, or is everyone else just crazy? Is that internet really bad, guys? I know. My, I know my reception is bad, but. Like Where's my iPad? But honestly, no one's frozen. Are we lagging or is he lagging? No, nah, he's lagging. It'll be me. Oh, okay. he's lagging. I okay. think you're fine, guys. Okay. Probably. Okay. Jack, you still there, Jack? I think he's lagging. Mm. I really wanted to hear from him. He'll, he'll be back. He'll be back. He wants to go next. Okay. Philomena and Ray have few leads working yeah. through. Woo! Woo! Do you guys want to unmute yourself? Unmute yourself, guys. You're muted. Hold on, I'll unmute you. I have one, if you can hear me. I can hear baby. <laughs> Hi. Yes. What do you have, Tegan? Um, I got my first sale this week or today. A officially. sale or like product sale? Product sale. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, food. so that's good. And um, I enjoy the gym, so that's a first for me. Oh. Haven't been to the gym before. Um, yeah, that's that's my big wins, and I had a baby. There's one more. <laughs> yeah. There's this little guy here. Oh, wow. <laughs> he was born on the 16th of August, right? Days of yeah, the yeah. yeah, he was born on Abbas's and my, my son's birthday, the day of the yeah. So that was pretty cool to see. And also my mentor, um, her daughter's birthday was that, that day as well. Nice. It was pretty nice. Very, yeah, it's a very, um, as it, like a couple of years ago, August was actually, it held the highest rate of birthdays around the whole world. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, couple, I don't know if he still holds it now, but I remember reading it. That makes sense. Yeah, cool, cool. <laughs> um, Philomena and Ray, please tell me about your beautiful wins and some leads. You're on, you're, I'm going to unmute you now. Yeah, there you go. No, no. no. where'd you go? Oh, there we go. Hey, guys. What's up? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, we got um, we got a few leads since um, when was it Sunday? Nice. Um, getting a lot more people going through the page as well. Nice. Um, so yeah, working through them, we'll get there. Nice. <laughs> Ray, Ray. Ray, you've been quiet. See, you seem pretty excited. Hello, how are you guys? Sorry. How are you? Good, good. How are you guys? Good. I'd love to you're see your beautiful soon, smile. Brother. Sorry. You're gonna get you retired soon, brother. Retired? Yes, yeah, sounds nah. good to me. <laughs> we're, we're all retired together. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to retire. No, but you know, I, 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 I love you guys, man. I love you guys too. Welcome back, by the way. No worries, man. I'm telling you guys, <clears throat> I'm gonna light a few matches up your asses tonight. <laughs> all right, who else? Who wants what? Who else wants to um is Jack has Jack already shutting you on or Jack do you still no I don't think I think it's still mm -hmm. shutting out. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm just gonna mute you guys. One more person, anyone else that has mute wins? Yeah, I've got a win. Let's go. Um I've just checked my ads today. Yeah. And I've got um ninety percent ninety people watched a hundred percent. In one day? No, today, yeah. So yesterday it was about sixty nice. and today I checked it. So it's ninety people. People have watched it 100%. Okay. And is that That's right. I didn't get any leads. Yeah. I, I don't mind, but I'm still like, it, um, like I don't know, like um, looking forward to, to get leads out of it. You know what I mean? So, um, what can I say? No, no, we actually dropped five bucks. Okay. So, what, what, um, what can I say now is um, drop a lot of value for your stories now. Get them for your stories now. Just keep talking, dropping value every single day. You know, Instagram, okay. your, your fan page stories, your personal page stories, just whatever you're talking about in your fan page. 
probably mm-hmm. you uh, on your story and all that kind of stuff. Just... And I realized something else because um, uh, with my stories, I can see people seeing my stuff, like the yeah. old stories, even mm-hmm. Instagram, yeah. people that they're not liking my page. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. I've never seen them before, uh, which yeah. is, um, people watching. I call it as a win. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's called being omnipresent, man. It's true. Yeah. There's more people that you see, that see uh, it's, it's, uh, the better. And especially when I, uh, on Instagram, especially I've, I followed um, the video of, uh, what's his name? Um, Brian? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so when you put your location and then you just like zo- zo- zoom it, like uh, zoom it out, zoom it out, zoom it out, you put it anywhere in the photo and then that gives, gets you more leads, like more people watch it without even you knowing. So okay. from the location. Nice. I didn't know That's that. what I've realized. I haven't gone through the, the new yeah, training. Yeah, time. So mm-hmm. once, once you put your location and then you just zoom it out, like you, you make it like a dot, you get what I mean? Then you put it in the photo. Mm-hmm. The people in this area start to see it. Nice. Wow. That's what I I've realized, it. yeah. I love it. Well done. Mm. Well done and give you that big clap, man. Thank you for showing that. We didn't even know that. Thanks so much. Okay. Um, so I want to... Can I say a win or I'm, I'm not yeah, included? I don't even know you see here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got... I got six leads, not off Facebook and not off Insta. Which off one? Snapchat. Follow-up. No! I've never heard that Yeah, before. boy. I've never heard that before. No one's talking about nice. Snapchat. I don't know why, but six leads. Nice. Very yeah. Nice. Can you actually run ads? So, on, um, Snapchat. Sorry, Snapchat. Can you actually run ads? We're or? figuring that out. No one, no one's talking about Snap. I don't know why, but um, it's it's freaking awesome, man. Like a lot of people. The only thing I'm struggling with. Sorry. Is this paid advertisement or just like organic? organic. No, 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 just organic. Like um, organic. And, and now that um, some some guy. Wait, wait, Dad, wait. Sorry. Spider-Man. Um, some guy, some guy added me out of nowhere and. He's got like some sort of a page where he does shout outs. I don't know, it's called Snap Shout Outs or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Um I'm not used to Snap. Cut out. So what he's done, I think he's done only his page, uh his uh his Snapchat on public. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have our Snapchat then, on public too. Yeah, and then people start reaching out, reaching out, and then that's it, that's how it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um uh, my internet is shocking. So, but anyway, yeah, as I was saying, like, um, he, he reached out to me. He goes, are you a page? I go, yeah. He goes to me, do you want me to shout out your page? I go, yeah, no worries. I had probably about 26 people nice. add me in half an hour. Nice. So, um, yeah, six or seven people started messaging me. But the only thing I'm finding with Snap is once you send them, I'm sending them the link, it disappears. See how Press down Snap on conversation. It and saves it. It. Press down on it in the Snap in the chat and you save, save it. In chat, in the save in chat. Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah, but awesome. well, that, that's that's a tip. That's a tip, guys. Start yeah. using Snap, man. Don't don't tell the rest of the team. This is for Team McCall. Well, we're gonna start learning how to run ads on Snapchat, so mm. we're gonna pass definitely pass that on, guys. You can also um, save the whole chat for like twenty four hours. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. What? I didn't even know that. That's awesome. Well, well, what about you? That's something that no, was you? on tap Instagram. That's why we made the business one. I believe most single guys know a lot more about Snapchat. That's why Yusuf knows a lot more. And you can run uh, paid ads. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Fair enough. All right. Well, that's it for wins, guys. We're going to get straight into it. So, before we start, I want to say something that... Before we start, I think we started... Like before we start into like the niches. So obviously I'm going to be touching on the niches, niches but before we do that, um, I want every single person to take into consideration if you did the old likes campaign of the foreign countries, if you guys are in my mentorship program, you probably would have known this by now. Um, so if this doesn't apply to you, don't worry about it. Just blur it out. Um, I want you guys to understand what we did. In March... Yeah. Sort of the March. In March, we weren't getting. We weren't. We were running ads, no leads. Um, we were basically. Yeah. Re- months, yeah. yeah. We were basically. Um, basically doing this. Right? We were. 
I'm just going to mute you, Hamza, sorry. Um, what we were doing is we were uploading on Snapchat, on Instagram, on Facebook, mm. on Facebook business stories. Yeah, ManyChat, not kind of And ManyChat. Mm. And we were getting signups through just them. We were running no ads. Okay. Not because we didn't have a budget, but because we were spending a lot of money and we we're not getting anything. So something had to give. So we're like, let's hold off on the ads a little bit. Let's take our hands off and let's see which other ways we can get lead. Now, that wasn't, again, that wasn't because our budget was low. That was because we wanted to find out other avenues. Now, sometimes you have to cut, cut yourself off at the knees. Mm. Sorry, you have to jump in the deep end in order for you to find other ways to swim. Yep. The short. So what we did was we relied all on organic. Yeah. And okay? Also, I figured maybe I should just retrain the pixel because the pixel, when, if you've got your pixel activated when you're on a likes campaign, even to go to foreign countries, you still get them to your page. Mm. I figured that I have to retrain my pixel. So even, even, ever since then, we've, um, our likes campaign is still going. So our likes campaign will be going. Dollar a day. Yeah, forever. Ongoing. Yeah. Um, three different countries. Three different countries. Um, Australia, more if you like. I'm just saying, you know, Australia, New Zealand, and calendar. Yeah. And for a dollar a day, we retrained our pixel, got organic leads. Sorry, not organic, real people to our page, and people were replying back that way. Yeah. Now, if you did the old way of the foreign countries, now likes look great on your page, but they're not real buyers anymore. Yeah. So our recommendation was. Um, to run a likes campaign a dollar a day for ongoing you retrain your pixel brings more people to your yard Which is your well, page unless you want to um, run a likes campaign for five dollars 30 days So Brennan, but if you want you can break it down. This is how Brennan Moy do right now because yeah. Their page closed down so you can break it down because you know at the moment they, they, they've got so much content anyway and they've got their own caravan, so they're talking people, families that like to travel. So traveling families, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so they narrow it down to so people who are most likely going to buy from. Yep. Instead of people that's not going to be part of their niche. Mm. So you can also break it down. Yeah. Uh, so if you just type in, keep it open, you mm. can just narrow it down to three different countries, five different countries. Yeah. And also with the interest. Yeah. At least people, like, at least you get people that, you know, that like your page that have the same interest as you. Mm hmm and so, that's basically how we were doing it. And yeah. that's, that's the only thing that we were doing is spending on. Mm. Dollar a day, ongoing to retrain our pixel. Mm. We we're relying on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook business, Facebook personal stories to get our sign up to make those sales. It was amazing. Reason being is because it trained, retrained the pixel, brought more people to the yard. And the mm. people who were watching us in March are now hitting us up. Yeah. And then what we did was we did a go live for a week. Yeah. Every, yeah. Every day. Every single um yeah for one week straight and we we boosted it for eight days for dollar right. day. Yeah. So and just, you know, and every single time you boosted again, it's like a retarget the same people again. And because what we um boosted it with was um people that like our page, so our friends, friends. people like our page and friends of yeah. those people that like our pages. So you know we just kept you know let's say this video ad was um this girl I was talking about family, next one was talking about family and kids. You know we just keep backing up every single go live to the yeah. next one, the next one. And um, every mm. single go it live, like, it was like a retargeting go live. Yeah, like an indirect retargeting go live. And then mm. what we what happened was we added the send message button to that, and people were messaging that, like pressing that button. Mm. Okay, so that's a little tip from us that you guys can definitely yeah, so use. If you, and we if recommend. Like sometimes you guys aren't getting leads, good go live every single day, do a live campaign, just mix it up. You know, what? Well, I'm mm. I'm gonna leave that as a recommendation. I recommend mm. every single person do this. A dollar a day. Everyone can can afford a dollar a day yeah, or five dollars, yeah. like ongoing. Or five dollars a day for thirty days. Mm. Everyone can afford that because at the end of the day, if you get someone that is going to buy a Quadzilla four months down the, down that track, that dollar a lead would end up being twenty eight cents a lead. It's worth it, right? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Do you have anything else to touch upon that? Mm. No. Mm. Okay. So we're gonna start about. Okay. So the reason why we wanted to go into this is because. When I spoke about this at the at the meetup, everyone was messaging me afterwards. So I thought mm. we might as well turn it into freaking training. Okay. So how to find your niche. Now I'm going to go through this as effectively, but I'm not going to wallow on like like stay on one subject for long. So if you have any questions, pop well, them in the so chat. What we do is definitely you've written it all down. We can always put it up in the computer and send it to the chat or we can put it on our team call. People can see anyway. So the the I'll maybe, pop it up? yeah. So we'll okay. pop it up and put it in our like a you know file. Yeah. I can do that. I'm pretty I'll, sure it's one of them. That's a good idea. Right. So let me just write that down. Yeah. So even even if I don't get it all, we can go back and just read it. Okay. Stuff. 
So yeah, so if you guys have any questions, please pop them in the chat. And then at the end, if I don't give you time, I'll give you time. If, I don't, if we don't have any time, um, what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll reevaluate the question. So guys, a lot of you guys will, I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to share my screen and draw the whiteboard. So can everyone see my whiteboard? Any thumbs up if you can? Thumbs up? Everyone can see my whiteboard? All right. So guys, this is the market. Okay. Now in marketing, if you're trying to allocate and trying to target to stay at home moms, mm. security guards, childcare educators, um, construction workers, factory workers, teachers, builders, it, if you're trying to target all these, this is where you're going to end up. Mm. You're going to get nowhere. Okay. But I will answer your question in a moment. Okay. But if this was the market and you target this part of the market and then you kind of retrain yourself to stay within the, the, the barriers of the passions, the skills, the niche. So you like you sort of become the big fish in this. Yeah, yeah, you you sort of fish small pond. Yeah, you, mm. it's a big fish, a big fish in a small pond. So what mm. happens is these people are your niche. So let me explain to you the um the definition of niche. Now the definition of niche, guys, is a small sector in the market. Niche literally means sector or small. Okay, mm. that's what a niche is. So how do you guys? Let me just clear everything. Just want to share. So how do you guys find your niche? This is what we want to talk about. Um, do you message people that like your page and that contact in it? I'll, I'll, um, I'll reply, the page is back. Did you see me draw up that drawing, guys? Oh, yes, sure. they did. I'll draw it more at the end. Mm. Um, so how do you find your niche? So the first question is, the first like point is you evaluate your passions and your skills. You have to evaluate your passions and your skills in order for you to find your niche. It sounds basic, but it makes the difference. Marketing is all about that. You need to find your niche because if you're going to put out content to educators and talking workers and freaking teachers and freaking um, uh, uh, security guards, you're not going to target anyone. You need to find somewhere to direct mm. your approach, direct your, even your mm. ads. You guys, this is working because very only targets construction workers. Every single thing that he puts up is all about them and yeah. only them. Mm. So they know that he can help them because he came from that industry. You know, when I speak, I speak to you know about security guards and all that kind of stuff and parent hoods and people that that can relate to me mm. and that kind of stuff. Because I went back in the day, we were targeting so much different people. Mm. Too much. You know, like mining. We had nothing to do with mining. I feel like it was so hard to relate to them. Yeah, and um, for a very long time, this is a very important. This is a very important point. In other words, the type of people exactly like you. Yeah. Like it's for so a very weird. for yeah. a very long time, Abbas and I defied mm. the obvious, which was we literally mm. got most of 98% of Timor Core is Arab. Mm, babysitters. And babysitters. Mm, and so they came from the child care yeah. work and they were, they were, uh, we labor. got teachers with we like labor. They were from our niche. Because mm, I, I, also, also, I was also a panel beta. Yeah. So yeah. literally they all were in like one clump of our niche. Mm. Now that's not a surprise. For a very long time, I'm like, oh, get someone that's a little bit different it didn't work mm. well, i remember when abbas and i made a ad specific uh, sorry ad specifically for security guards mm. and specifically for child care educators i got and i hadn't even put it as an ad yet i hadn't even promoted it yet mm. on my ad in one day 26 leads that's because we were in last campaign just yeah. A couple weeks before. Yeah. Childcare. Yeah. Yeah. And security. Yeah. Yeah. And we haven't even promoted the ad. Mm. And Abbas, the security guard ad, I kid you not, 53 leads. Organically, we haven't even promoted these. Yeah, now, if these so people are being driven to our page mm. and they're our niche and they see this type of ad and they see this type of content, are they more likely to buy? Mm. Yes. Because they're literally exactly like us. Okay. Um, you don't just choose a niche. You just don't choose a niche. You don't go, okay, today I'm going to target miners. I'll come from the childcare industry, but I'm going to target miners anyway. 
Like you can in a sense if you're going to do your research about it. You can in a sense if you do research about it. Like you know, if you know your data's in it and you know what he goes through, I guess you can if you do your research about it, but not going inside there with you know no research. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's mm. all like and I'm I'm gonna talk about testing, adjusting mm. and stuff later. Um and you have to resonate with your niche and solve the problem. Now I can speak like my like our gift is the truth. We can speak to like a tattoo artist. And we can resonate with them. That's our superpower. But that comes with experience. Okay. Now, the best thing that we can give to you guys is find a niche that you can resonate with. So, for example, if my niche is childcare educators, I can resonate with teachers. Yeah. I can resonate with educators. I can resonate with um, high school teachers. I can resonate with people within the educational field. Mm. Okay. Mothers. I can resonate with babysitters. Yeah. Do you understand? I don't know if people used to come and ask you for your advice with school, even for which school you know I should put my my kids in. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because you gave a shit about education. Yes. Mm. Exactly. So you got to reason it somewhere with the niche. You can't. If 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 a, if a lead is like, okay, I come from the from the mining industry, and you have no idea what the mining industry is, and you're trying to resonate, it's like, it's like, no point between two destinations. It, that you, you need. You need a straight line, okay? Um, so look at the special skills that they have. So if you're in the child care educa- um, in industry or whatever industry you guys are in, um, you've got to look at the skills that they have, the skills that they possess. Um, and you've got to understand that every, every single one of you guys is literally one of a kind. So there is no other you out there. So use that to your advantage rather than your disadvantage. That should be your advantage. Your advantage should literally be, okay, um, my name is Philomena and I w- have been working with children for however many years. I have so much experience down my belt. I've literally worked with children so long that I've seen them move on and I'm still stuck in the same space. Guys, they're getting excited talking to these people. Yeah. Do you guys know who Balaj um, Karos is? Balaj? Everyone should, Everyone. should know. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Here's a, a 62 dash 5. You know who the downlines are? Everyone should know who, who the downlines are. You're talking about. Um, the guy that owns GAZ, what's his name again? Matthew. Matthew Jane. Matthew Jane. This is his down, downline, direct downline. And, um, you got um. You also got Brian Hodgeskin. Hodgie. Yeah. That's his direct downline. So these guys are really, like he actually got people that actually own their own companies now. You got to say you can get you're probably only one person away from a person that you get into this business that goes up on own company. Mm-hmm. He gets means and put means and means people in. You got to say you don't know who you're gonna bring in next. Yeah. Honestly, don't know. And I think that's the beauty about this business. It is, like, it's true. It really like is. it's like never we were, like what Brody said the like, other day. I remember, I remember when I spoke to Brody three months into it. Because honestly, when you bought off me, I thought you were just a buyer. But like, shit, <laughs> you, you become family. Yeah. Like the like when he said it, we said it at the meetup. Mm. We never realized that these people would literally become family. Yeah. And them. think about it this way. So think about the leads. Like, okay, this person that I'm going to bring in today is not just a client, not just a buyer, not just someone that's going to buy KA off me. Mm. I'm going to change their life and then we're going to be great friends and we're going to become family. Mm. Okay? The one thing that Abbas and I have always, we love the family unit, which Mm. is why our team is a family. But now Mm. we're taking this very seriously because we want to be on that fucking yacht. Mm. Um, If if you're group, everyone here has families. Yeah, and we all, they definitely understand Mm. that. Um, Also, um, it goes... David Wilkinson is three underneath Balage. Yeah. Three underneath Balage. That's massive. Okay, so we're not far away from that. Okay. Um, so you need to find out your story, where you've been, in order to find your niche. So where have you been? What kind of experience have you had? Where have you worked? <clears throat> what have you dealt with in your life? Where? Who's? So this kind of stuff you put into your story, yeah? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, what was your like your um like your probably the toughest situation you ever been for you? So your drawing line stand, I guess. Uh, you know, yeah. Brandon Molly's video ad is talking about when um when he had a full time job, and you know he has two kids and his credit card declined. He had no money. Mm. He couldn't even put nappies on his kids. You know, like I I got a bit too because I am a father. You know, most fathers out there, I'm not, I'm not taking any, anything away from single mothers. You know, I know you guys are strong as well, but I'm talking about you know like. You know, me growing up, you know, in the Arab family, you know, the man is the breadwinner. And it came to a stage very long time ago, I, I couldn't even afford, you know, just to pay my rent. So I kind of felt that story. The young person is like, you know what, man, that is an ugly feeling, you know, for you to go through this, then all of a sudden to here, you know, if I can do what I can, because I've been there before. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, 
you gotta you know show people that you're vulnerable i guess and you know and you are human and it sucks being broke it really really does it's stressful and i've been there yeah mm. and um it's it's a it's a big massive like aspect so mm. that's that's a pain point that resonated yeah. with you right yeah. so that's a pain how point how about the lady a couple of days ago he's gonna come to meet us on saturday he goes i've been watching you guys for a while i'm an invite yeah he goes you know but i wasn't really interested but he goes one um he goes a couple of days ago my son told me he goes how come dad i, ne- I never see you then he goes that hit it back home for him and he goes that, that's why i reached out to you mm. so when it's good in a sense that whenever someone feels like they want to see the family it reminds them of me yeah you can say it's definitely good. definitely mm. that's what we want to do so when someone wants to change something in their life they should mm. look to you guys mm. it's just so clear she's the one that's going to help me mm. philomena and ray she's the one that they're gonna they're gonna help me rachel they're gonna help she's gonna help me aziza she's gonna help me tegan mm. randa this is the people that you got to think about that and mm. how do you do that how do you make sure that these people think about you every single time they say I don't want to do this anymore. I want to do something different. Oh, no, exactly. You're being in your freaking face. Exactly. When they feel like shit every single day, you're, you're, you're popping out all confidence. You know, you're putting motivation stuff out there and, you know, you're showing them that there is better stuff out there for them. Mm. For them. Because I guarantee you, every single time that you guys yeah. think that someone's not watching you, I guarantee you someone's watching you. Your social media. Every single time we walk Someone's out of the house. Yeah. Today, we were walking in Bass Hill. We are just walking in the plaza. We are getting mm. boost. And this lady looks at me and I has the biggest smile on their face, but I think she was too shy to come up to us. Yeah. She knows who we are. People know who we are. But that's because we've, we've literally done for the last two years, we've pumped out so much freaking content, people remember our faces. Yeah. Even Tariq, Tariq, uh, he, he, uh, apparently he spoke to us about 11 months, be- 11 months before he even spoke to us. I mean, yeah. got, got on board, he, goes, he saw us on Miller Road. Is that Dropping up our kids and Dropping he's like, I'm about to suffer. Then he goes, I remember, he goes, I recognize these people. I'm going to hit them up today. And that's how he actually came to meet us. A, a person that didn't even watch the webinar. Yeah, he didn't watch the webinar. He just, he just, it was sold because mm. he had, he didn't care what we had. He didn't care what we were doing. He mm. just wanted in. And you're going to get people like that. All right. You just got to keep, continue consistently pumping out content even when you don't feel like it pump out mm. content even when the going gets tough pump out content even when you think that no one's watching people are watching stop doubting yourself there's so many times that to be completely honest with you if i told you we ever thought about giving up we never thought about giving up but there are there were times where we're like okay, I'm mm. just put up something but we continue to do it anyway okay um, and i'll show you guys how to make sure maneuver away from attitudes like that um, so why is finding your niche important? Finding your niche is so important because you need a direction. It's like your goals, right? If you don't have a niche to, to allocate and pump out content to, you're going to literally see and resonate with no one. And I mean no one. Nobody will see your content. No one will be in you know, comparison or resonate with your content because you're trying to reach too much people it's going to go in too much direction so this is what i want to show you guys next everyone can see my my screen right yeah right. so this is your ooh, sorry, can you guys, guys see the drawing can you guys see the drawing if i draw can you guys all yeah. see it i'm going to do the niche again and i'm going to show them how to go wide mm. so this is my niche guys yeah Okay, so I'm going to use Abbas's niche as an example. Okay, this is a great example as well. So if Abbas's niche is security guards, family oriented people, people oh, within the security yeah. industry, even the panel bidding industry, but let's just say security guards now because I know mm-hmm. how to go wide from that. Mm-hmm. We've got to go wide. We've got to find the biggest sector in that, which was police guards, mm, police officers, police officers. Police officers. Mm-hmm. Um, People who like security guards that have a gun license, so in between a police officer. A canine and dogs. A canine dog. Mm. And these are all little niches, right? Mm. So what you want to do is you want to find your niche, but you want to also go wide mm. as well. You're allowed to do that because if this one is security guards that have the dogs and this is security guards within the airport system and this is normally sh- normal shopping center guards and this is police officers, we're allowed to do that because you need the perfect wide niche to minimize. Okay, you need this first. You can also even get more, like even license fees. People that work with security guards. Yeah. 
people with like pubs and clubs, they need security guards. So you get a license fee. Mm. They work with security guards. And, and they do long hours with them. Yeah, and that's mm. these mm. people that you have to yeah. uh, to target. This is literally yeah. how you target them, guys. Um, yeah, so and you need for to... truckers, you can also hit up truckers, people that do tires as well. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure truckers can change the tires a lot. Exactly. So you can also hit up people that change tires. Exactly. So yeah. see how it goes wide? Yeah. So Molly Orwell, when she first started, she was a mum. She wanted to retire herself. She was literally targeting yeah. Kmart. Just Kmart. Yeah. Just Kmart. She's like, I like Kmart. I'm going to ta target Kmart. But it so made much, yeah. so much fucking sense. She made so much money off that ad. Because even though mums was a niche like that, Kmart is here. Mm. Does that make sense? That's why the ad did so well because she targeted wide. Mm. But she's a family person, so most, most, like, most families go to Kmart. Kmart yeah. So she's I'm not going to target Super Cheap Auto if mm. I like going Kmart. I mean, I'm, I'm a mum. Super Cheap Auto is more like for truckers, more kind of stuff. Yeah. Does that more make sense? Are we country. making sense, guys? More like Ubers, more like. Okay. So initially, you want to be smart about your research as well. You want to be smart about who you um, think. Um, so obviously, our niche is a sector in the market. Um, I'd probably say, um, you know, like Yusuf is in the world industry. Yeah, he can probably tie that Snap on, Sip Chrome, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. People yeah. that's part of that industry. Yeah. And um, yeah. So mm. how, like, which brings us to our next one. So mm. how do you how do you narrow down your niche? So you look at values, you look at likes age. and dislikes, mm. age, orientation, gender. Um, uh like uh family family um unit like are they separated are they single are they are they um you know like are they couples that's how you target and you get really specific with that and the reason why you get specific with that is literally through your own being um you do the same thing as well so you do it through you so there's no secret why most of our team have families because we have families okay we want to we want to do this for our family and they want to do that as well does that make sense Okay, that's how you allocate, what you, you really like figure it out. Um, and obviously how you figure it out, who are you? Um, so, and don't defy the obvious. Don't defy the obvious of who you are and who you truly are for your niche, to, to, to put, pick apart your niche. Advice is not going to be like, okay, um, you know, I'm, I'm male, um, but I'm going to go and target females only. You can, but it's going to resonate a lot more with more males. But it makes sense because we're freaking like a couple mm. um so there's a difference between the perfect buyer and the perfect audience okay i'm gonna say it again perfect buyer before the perfect audience <laughs> a lot of the times we jump on our zoom calls with our team like, who's your perfect buyer someone that has money yeah <laughs> okay like i understand that but there's not <laughs> much we can do oh, sorry, oh go Tariq. i didn't realize you had a hand up i seen that yeah. i'm you i'm you so yeah, so is it exactly like um like I do cabinet making? Yeah, so is it ex exactly like how I target sometimes carpenters, um, construction workers, and um, like uh, bricklayers, yes. all that kind of stuff? Yeah, so that's exactly like what you mean. Places like what places would they visit? I think it was like, where would you go and shop? What would people go? Buddy's warehouse? You know what I'm saying? Where would they go? You know, yeah, I do. That's yeah. what I'm saying, but you type that kind of stuff as well. So whatever you're after, what are those people usually go and type? You know, what do they go and shop? Money's warehouse. You know, yeah. what, you know what, what, yeah. what, what's the favorite tools? What's the favorite shoes? You know what I'm saying? You can always, yeah, she's saying go wide, mm -hmm. but in my head, it's more like narrow. I'll pull it narrowing down. Like when I say like, she goes, mm -hmm. that, yeah. but yeah. it's also that as well. Like it's, it's again, it's the perspective. Yeah. But even if um, we have an ad running to a bookstore. Mm. We want to attract people who read. It yeah, makes but sense. also which section of reading? Like, exactly, like, so like, self-development. You know, self-development. Health, fitness, so that some, kind of there's stuff. some books out there that's not good for you. Yeah. Mm. Um, so the perfect buyer, perfect audience. Um, and there's a difference between buyers and builders. Now, buyers yeah, are like, great. We're not Bob the Builders. Okay. Bob the builders. Yeah, 98% yeah. of our team literally, like, they're builders. But there are 2% who are just... And that's okay. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. And they're like, we want people having this water machine anyway. Yeah. All these, you know, whatever we're selling. That was on store to anything. But how do we get to 682? How's 6823? You need, like, if you want to reach 682 and uh, 68 and above, you need builders. Like, you actually need hardcore builders. Which is why now we're letting like, your fingers up, like, yeah. freaking smashes up your ass. We want mm. to get to 682, 6823, 6824. We can get to 682 very easily. 
We're not yeah. far at all. She's she's her 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 sponsor ID is a five A, my other one is a four A. So my first one's already six A. So if the other's two reach six A, if she reach six A, my one six A, I'm six A too. Mm. <laughs> I want all of you guys to reach six A. Yeah, and I want to reach six A too. So yeah. because Abbas is here, I'm mm. here, and Abbas is again here. He mm. can get to six A too. But I'm here. I want to get to six A too as well. Mm. And most of our team and are I'm pretty, sure wanna, I'm pretty sure you guys want to reach six A two, six A two dash three. Absolutely. Mm. Um. So yeah, so buyers versus builders to hit the higher ranks. Not everyone that you speak to will buy, guys. It's inevitable. It is a fact. I'm putting it out there. Not every single person on this face of the earth will buy. But if you speak to someone today, it doesn't mean they won't buy 12 months from now. Mm. Isn't that right, Hamza? I don't know if you heard me. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Tell my Yeah. But yeah, so, but how do you make sure that that doesn't happen? You don't burn your bridges. Mm. And um, Abbas is best. You have to make sure that. Yusuf, you're all right? Yeah, I had a question. Um, does the audience you're targeting, does that have to relate to the photo you post? Like say you post something, um, say for example, I was working, for example, welding, or yeah. I was driving a car. Does the audience have to relate to the photo? I would say the audience had to re uh, resonate more with the story. Okay, the story. Oh, so with the, with the content as yeah. in the writing. With the writing. Yeah, the writing. Yeah, yeah. Unless, unless, you know, you're like me and you want to get my attention, I'm a lazy reader. I won't read it, but I'll look at the photo. Yeah. 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 Or the video. Yeah, that's what I mean. If you're doing some action. Yeah, if, so if you want to attract people like me, that's lazy readers, whatever you want them to see, make sure if things like in lowercase and the things that you want them to see is highlighted. Okay. You want to see that because that's how person I am. Oh, you uh, think every really single person's got No way, I won't read it. Like it's all I don't, I'll read it. Because I'm a lazy reader. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how you get things. Like, you know what? If I was going to get a lazy reader, I want everything to be lowercase and whatever I want them to hear or see or read to be highlighted because it stands out. Sorry. Yeah. That's how oh, I think. Is that, yeah. Does that answer your question? Yeah, yeah, it does. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so not everyone you speak to will buy. But, for example, I'm going to share my screen, guys, again. Mm -hmm. um, the reason why I go back and forth is because this is very important. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So, if, say, for example, I speak to 10 people a day. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a very good, achievable number. I'm a that. We're, we're mm -hmm. that. But mm -hmm. let's say 12, 10 people a day. Over seven days, we're speaking to 70 people. Mm -hmm. That's 70, guys, not 20. So 70. Two or more zero, be zero. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's 70 people. All right, that's 70 people a week, right? And then, say, for example, you're averaging one person, one, one sign up. That means you need to speak to 70 people on average to get that one sign up. But how on earth do you raise this number? You double it. You double it, you triple it, or you get really down and dirt, like, down in the in the dumps, like like really yeah, personal, personal, personal like, conversation. Really, we're conversation. really personal, really personal. You learn like, how to persuade people. Let me give you an example. You know, after someone's going with the the pain points and all that kind of stuff, you know, after some webinar, they ask them, "Hey, how do you go to the webinar?" It's like, "Hey, man, I'm pretty sure by now you would have watched the webinar, as you want to spend more time with Tom and Jerry at home. You know, like you know, because you know, you told me about you know you're, you're part of the you know the panel industry and your back is hurting you. So I'm pretty sure that you know. I'm pretty sure by now you would have finished this blueprint because you know you want to spend more time with your family and you already know that your back's about to give out already. So you gotta say use the pain exactly. points against them. Exactly. You gotta say don't say, hey, how's the webinar? There's nothing wrong with that either. Yeah, yeah, nothing wrong with There's it's nothing the wrong with because that's what they told you. Mm. You gotta exactly. say show them that you know you're not speaking to a robot. Yeah. It's like you actually you go you, you went back up and gave them effort. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like we I just feel like it's common sense sometimes, or at least in my head, that people take you more seriously if you take them more seriously. Mm. You can try and say that that's all it is, you know, like, okay, you know, this person might be too busy, he probably don't know who I am yet, but yesterday he spoke to me, or two days ago he spoke to me, but he really knows what I really want, mm. and he mentions it again. Mm. So, you know, I'm not talking to a robot. Yeah. Uh, the no, only robot we, we use, guys, is many chat, and, that's, a, and that's the first message. And that's the only message ever. Ever. So on, all right. really us. Um, also, so your pain points, your conversations, you got to retarget, your targeting, and your content. That's how you raise this number here. Okay. But also, you want to make a conversation, the three magic words that Brady taught us about the jobs. Oh, I guess. You want to down again? I, 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 so, um, what do you do for work? So, I think the, so what, what, what do you do for work? 
what got you into this work? Most of the time you realize it's the parents that have been forced to do this job. Do you guys, are you guys following? So what do you do for work? What got you into that? Most likely people tell you, like, oh, that's what my dad wants. Because me, for panel building, that's what my dad wanted. No. Most people go into this job because someone's pushing to this job. But after the answer, what's keeping you there? What's next? What's next? So like, what's keeping you there? What's next? Sometimes people are like, oh my God, this is a question that no one's ever asked me. Mm. I can't be speaking to a fucking robot. Yeah, like, well, these, are, these are really powerful questions. Sometimes, like, sometimes yeah. if someone's supposed to ask me, it's like, whoa. What is yeah. keeping me here? Yeah. Like, yeah, like what, what am I keeping? Yeah. What, you know? Because a lot of the times, what happened? What we used to do? What we fucking used to do? Mm. It's like they used to tell us all that freaking like their shitty life. It's like fuck your life, shit. And we just leave yeah. it there. And then they fucking like, and they watch the webinar. And it's like my, my life is really shit. I know. It's like oh my god, your life is so fuck. I can't even help you. Like you know, I never used to say that, but in, yeah. In, but I never told them I used to care. Yeah, we used to bring mm. them down, but we used to forget to bring them back up. Yeah. So what's next? Okay. So mm. that's how you do them. So let's talk about the opportunity selling points. So if I'm speaking to a stay at home mom and she's telling me that she doesn't find passion and purpose in her daily routine, she's over, she's overdoing that. Yeah. I don't, if she's just told me that I don't go, so what we do is called affiliate marketing. Have you heard of it? Yeah. You don't do that. The reason why you don't that, do that, guys. Perfect. Cause when someone opens up to you, maybe like that's perfect. That means when you get someone else. Exactly. It's perfect. It's like, perfect. Abbas and I get so excited. Mm. So excited. Back, like an essay. Oh, we get some. Look, then look we, at the essay. Then we ask them, hey, are you guys, are you, like, are you guys comfortable with me sending back a voice message? To mm. show them that they're a little bit in control. And I feel like voice messages just go a lot more further. They do. They do. I'm not a lot more further. Definitely. Send a voice message. But so, ask them. Because some people are like, oh my God, look, this is weird. Send me a voice message. I don't know who you guys are. Yep. And why you send me a voice message for? Yep. That's why you ask them, are you guys comfortable with me sending a voice message? Yep. And um, the opportunity selling point. So if she's telling you, if you say, oh, I'm telling you, <laughs> I want passion and purpose. Mm. So great. You know, like we have a great community that's dedicated to helping you find mm. your passion, your purpose. And we, we want yeah. you to channel it, like yeah. channel that into something. Usually when oh. someone has no, like, you know, has no passion, that means they're not fulfilling the purpose. Yeah. It, that's all it is. There's no, there's no progress. Every single day, same routine, same routine, same routine. It's like, it's like watching the same movie over and over and over and over again. You know what's going to happen next before mm-hmm. it even happens. That's yeah. so boring. Yep. Yeah. That's um, all it is. They want something new. They want like call an adventure, I guess. Yep. Mm. I'm just letting you guys know that this light and this meeting is gonna go over. I'm just letting yeah. you guys know. We we allocated that before, that's why we moved it before. Yeah, that's why we because we usually we start at eight o'clock, we would start half an hour early because we knew about it's gonna go at least half an hour. Half yeah. Over. yeah. Mm. Um so if this is if if for example a dad is working sixty to eighty hours a week is telling you that I only spent I only work, mm. I only literally like Spend time with my colleagues rather than yeah. my children. I love when people tell me this. I okay. love people this. I should have a safe reply. I, I, what I usually tell them when someone calls me that, it's like, okay, um, top of my head. So you go trade your time. So you, you, first of all, you make kids to stay away from them. So my job as a male, like I feel like it's our job to provide our life for our kids that you know that my parents didn't do. So I feel like if you can't give them the financial freedom at this full-time job when as a parent, what are you really doing? Mm. You know what I mean? So I believe that what you're doing right now is just an example. Most likely showing your kids exactly what, the, what they're going to do in the future. Why I say this is because my dad does the exact same thing for me. I feel like I had to go and do 50, 60 hours a week. So that's what a man does. He leaves, he makes a family, he leaves his family for about, I don't know, probably say at least 60% of the day to go make money want, for the family. Yeah. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Like you've got to confuse them in that sense. Like, okay, then if you really can't provide them with the lifestyle that you truly, you, what you family deserves, what is doing a full time job? You know what I'm saying? If you have a full time job and you're still struggling, you know, just to put money on, like put it on the table, and yet you, you haven't got much time with them, then what are we, what are we doing as parents? What, yeah. are we, what, what are we doing? And then, what example are we setting for our kids yeah. in the future? And what Abbas yeah. does is he brings them back down and mm. then he brings them back up. Yeah. So it's like, so this opportunity will give you the time. To spend more time with yeah. your family will free up the time and saying, help you yeah, replace I'm not that. Saying, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying you have to get rich off this, but if you can make exactly the same money or a little bit less or a little bit more to spend more time with your family, once you be happy, it's like, yes. That's, that's how you do it. So you bring them back down, so you bring them down, you push them back up. Okay, right? At first, that was my goal, just to replace my freaking $4,000 a, a month. month. You know, I used to do 60 hours a week to get that. Mm-hmm. And I knew that wasn't a lot of money, but if I can do that at home, I'll be the happiest man alive. Yep. And then yeah. obviously, um, depending on what pain points is allocated to that. 
So you do the pain points and opportunity selling points together. Mm. Um, and then you've got to research. You've got to research um, the social. Um, so if I, was a, if I was a mother, say I'm a mom, what's very common? How am I going to find out what's common in moms that they want to achieve? And the way I freaking do it is I literally go, if, I, if my target is stay at home moms, I literally go to play groups. Make sense? If I was to go and my target niche was tradies, mm. I will listen to tradies talking shit. Okay? Yeah, if I was, if my target yeah, niche was security guards. That's what I said before. Yeah. You go do your research. Yeah. That's what you're doing. Yeah. Right? And then if, I, if like, for example, for example, Abbas, if your niche was security guards, mm. obviously you'll look back at what you used to think about security guards, but Abbas will literally pick himself up and it's go always, hang out with right now. security guards now. I'll just target people that done a lot of games during, during, from, during from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Because that's all we used to do, download games. Mm. If you're working in a shopping center, yes, because you've got a lot of time in your hands. Yeah. That's nice down a lot of games. A lot it's of, it's a like smart you. way, guys. We're just yeah. opening up the reins for you guys to start mm. thinking. We're not going to give you the freaking answers. You've got to start thinking. Oh, we're um, going to give you the answers. We're definitely going to give you the answers. No, no, but like... Want to go out to succeed. No, 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 but like answers. specifically, like I'm yeah. talking about like every single aspect. Yeah. We're getting you guys thinking. Yeah. The more thinking you guys get, the more, um, you know, abilities yeah. you're going to have. And also what got to you into this business? So when you got into this business, you guys told us your point points. How did we respond to you? Think about that. Um, so marketing is literally solving a problem for the niche. Yeah. So no time with family, this gives you time with family. No passion and purpose, this gives you passion and purpose. Problem solving. Yeah. Um, and everyone asks me that, are the niches saturated? No, the niches are not saturated. It's all fair game in this. Because if you speak to someone that, okay, for example, because what I happens is... Ask, do you know anyone that does this? You're like, no, but no, I go, there you go. Mm. I go, in the future, it will be. I go, because our kids are born into these tablet lifestyle and these iPads. It will be. Yeah. But you're talking about eight, ten years from now. Yeah. It all comes down in to effort, future, innovation, it's, it's, and investment in time. It's only been around for 10, 10 yeah. years. 12 years tops. Yeah. That's very, 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 yeah. very new. So it goes down to effort, the effort that you put into your content and your ads, the innovation, how creative you are, and the investment in time. How much time do you take out of your time to speak to these people and get to know them? When you figure out your niches, look out for lifestyle, profession, style, culture, behavior, demographic, demographics, needs, and wants. Um, and then you've got to identify the strengths and weaknesses and you do the research and go wide. And then the way you do it is choose, test, adjust, repeat. Choose, test, adjust, Can you repeat. Get more this? So like you to choose your niche or whatever niche you want to target. So you try to say you spit this. Yeah, you split test basically on the niche. Yeah. So, so what we mean by this is you mean to have all the same ad, but this one targeting 24, 25, different title. Is that what you try to say? Yeah. And this one 26 and 27, different title. You've got to test it, which one yeah. works, it, and then you've got to adjust it, and then you repeat it. So if one niche doesn't work with one specific ad, does that mean I give up on it? No. It doesn't mean you give up on it. Because we had an ad that was doing really well in the childcare industry, but we were targeting just childcare educators. Okay. So this is also regarding like an ad. If you guys want to just sell just a cream, it's very easy to sell the cream. Oh, it's very easy. It's very easy. That niche is oh. so you can target anyone that has skin. Anyone. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So if you guys are just selling, yeah, what's what's it showing now? Yeah. I can't even see. You saw. Oh, I don't know. So what I'm trying to say is, um, if you guys are selling just the region cream, I reckon that's the most easiest thing to sell because every single human being has skin. You know what I mean? If you guys want to get depth into it, you know, people that um have burns on the body because this actually helps, helps with burns mm. the people that's been sun, yeah. you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah so that you choose you test you adjust repeat remember guys i am going to type this up because abba mm. said it's a really good idea so i'm going to type it up in here. i'm going to give it to you so you guys can use mm. do we all have one niche no why because we only just we don't just have one story for example abbas he's a, he was a former security guard came from the, from the panel beating industry mm. um he's a father um previous to that he was working with cars. He's a cars lover. Yeah. I literally took out six different niches from that. Okay. Um, so you, how to identify your niche? You got to ask yourself, who am I? Who am I trying to attract? Who am I currently attracting? Is it sustainable? Who do I want on my team? And is my current business model leading by example? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say that again. Who am I? 
Who am I currently attracting? Who am I trying to attract? Is it sustainable? Who do I want on my team? And is the current business model leading by example? Yeah. So these are the stuff that you should you should listen to. Think, uh, think. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of. I'm gonna give you guys five minutes to talk about like ask some questions about that because I have a massive checklist for you guys and you guys are gonna love this. So if you guys have any questions, this is your um. Hold on mute. Uh, yeah. Jack. Before I think he got cut off. You want to share something earlier, but I believe your reception tied up. Yeah, I think so. I hope he's locking the community. Because if he isn't, I'm going to beat up your upline. You want to unmute yourself? Yeah, what's up? Fred, how are you locking the community so far? Because if you don't like it, I want to beat your upline up. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm finding, um, like, you know, two weeks ago, like, I, I didn't know a thing um, yeah. about online marketing at all. And I'm finding that um, I'm, I'm learning a lot, so... Nice, man. It's good to know. Are you enjoying it so far? Uh, yes, when I find the time to um, put aside um, to be able to focus on it. Nice. Um, but I, I'm enjoying the uh, Facebook uh, manager side of stuff and, and creating content for the page. Yeah, so the technical side and the and that's the fun side. The, the, the content is the fun side. How yeah. about those with the technical he's side? Oh, he's already a business um, student. That's probably why you like it, man. Yeah. yeah it's personal traits. It works, works well. Congratulations, man. Thanks, thanks. I'm happy that he'd be here. Does anyone else have any questions about everything that I just asked? Uh, he's here, but I can't see him. I have a question. Go ahead. Where are you? There you are. Um, when you were talking about, um, you know, speaking to at least 10 leads a day and then that's 70 over the week and, yeah, you might get one from that, how do you talk to leads if you're not actually getting any? Like I know that you can you can um, join groups and connect with people that way, yes. but how do you kind of bring up the business side of things without just, you know? So every I mean, single person that you speak to is a potential client. Yeah, I'm talking about even organically. Like you go to the post office, like today, this girl goes, "What are you guys sending out?" It's like cream. She goes, what She's is like, this for? "What does it do?" Mm. I'm like, it's, "Like I told her about region." And then I just literally sold one right there. Yeah, we, we gave her a sample, but and she also took her number. But we know for a fact she's, she's gonna buy. She says, "I want yeah. to." She goes, "I want to do some research." I go, "There's no like we're the only people that sell it." I go, "This is people use this when like we go to different countries that have really really bad bad skin. So these are for people that have really, really bad skin, and she was sold." Mm. She goes, "She was talking about her eyes that go in." She has really dark eye, eye um circles. So. So yeah. is, every single person you speak to, it's, it's potentially a lead. So you're just painting scenes inside the head, you know, yeah. and eventually just get them to follow you. So what we do is, what me and Safa do is whoever, whoever we meet online, we, we meet them face-to-face. -face. So whoever we meet face-to-face, uh, -face, we get them online. Do you get from something vice versa? Yeah. So at the moment, if you're just a lead, like Tarek was once upon a time, we meet him face-to-face. -face. The person that we met face-to-face, -face, we'll get him online. Yeah. So what but, you want to also do, if you want, you want to... So, you know what? I'm going to play out a conversation. For example, Abbas is going to be the person that's asking me. Mm. And then I'm going to respond as if I'm Safa and I'm an online entrepreneur. Okay? So, we're just meeting. We don't know each other. We're just playing it on. So, I can just give you guys an example. I'm not a good actor. Huh? I'm not a good actor. Just ask me questions, baby. <laughs> Go ahead. Say, say, imagine. What do you do for a living? Well, basically, man, I do a couple of things. So, basically, I'm an online entrepreneur. I help people fire their boss mm -hmm. and live the freedom lifestyle from anywhere in the world. I mean, I used to come from the childcare industry and my husband and I, um, we replaced our full-time income by working online within the first six months. You got to understand, man, um, you know, the digital world is taking by storm. And if you're not with change, mm -hmm. you're going to be against it and you're going to fall behind. And usually right there and there, it's like, here's my fan page. That's yeah. it. That's it. It's right that's there it. and there. We're, we're, like we do a promo. She's asking me how to yeah, that's why I, I, I did it for, for you, Cleo. I think you're a, I think you're a visual learner, mm. and you work, you live like you work, you you learn like that. Um, mm. which, that's exactly what I did. Um, and Rachel, every single person, okay. So you should all be speaking to as much people as possible. I want to show you. I want to. I want to tell you guys a story. I'm happy about it now, but I wasn't happy about it late, like before. One month into this business, Abbas found a very, very well-off person that was interested in an addict. He was a plumber, but he wasn't just any plumber. He was a contractor. So money wasn't an issue. 
We went to his um his place of work. He had a massive um no, showroom. Tyler. 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 He's a Tyler, but he has like his family's mm. a his family's very well off. He's it was Tyler. So embarrassing. Mm. So he was asking us questions about the machine, mm. about Enagic, about everything. And I promised. Then, by then, I was ready for A. So I already sold over 21 machines, but I, I let the platform do it. I've never spoken about the machine. I didn't know anything about the machine. I just yeah. took the water. Then he goes, You come to me with no paperwork. I go, You made an account. I, I'll just assume you want your booking. He goes, No, because I'm a businessman. I like to do it face to face. I should have warned me because I don't know how to sell the machine. That's it. He even cancels the account and he never needs the money. It was mm. probably the most. Im- but that's what changed yeah, that's, that's what changed us. So mm. it was probably the most embarrassing, mm. most degrading. Most and if you know, like, like he probably didn't mean to be degrading, yeah. but I remember walking out of there, and I was very new to the business. I was probably in it just for a month, and I remember walking out of there, and I looked at Abbas. I go, I never want to feel like this ever again. And he looked at me, why? I'm like, I am selling a product, and I don't know shit about the product. I'm trying <laughs> to sell something about the platform, and I know nothing about the product. I don't even know how to run a fucking ad. I was so angry with myself, but I used that fire to learn an adjective, learn the product, learn the platform, learn the ads. Um, literally, this is exactly how I came about. Exactly. Because I walked out of there with embarrassment and shame because I'm selling something that I don't know how to sell. So now, <coughs> fuck it. What I started to do is I started to speak to someone as people as practice. And the people who were who speaking to as practice were like probably were laughing at me in my head, but I was just using them mm. as social practice. It was just practice to me. I couldn't care less. And now people speak to us and ask mm. us what we're doing. And now we know exactly how to target it. And you do that to, you're not going to get them. The, not everyone you speak to, you're going to get both. You're going to burn through a lot of people. Just like when we first doing, started doing our coaching calls. We burned through a lot of fucking people. But that's how we learn. So I want you guys to be not scared of some confrontation. Okay? Mm-hmm. Just because, like Ray, for example, he was doing a demo. And the ionization machine didn't work. Like the demo didn't work. He felt so much shame. But guess what he did? He made three demos after that that were even better than the last one. See that fire? Mm. That's the type of fire that you should have when you're speaking to anyone. Does that answer your question? Yeah. So, yeah, it does. But can you have the same conversation as if you don't, you know, um, as if you didn't leave your job in six months and you haven't made all this money? So just have it like you've been in the business for like a month and you're trying to have that conversation. Absolutely. Leverage your upline. If your upline is doing well, leverage leverage your mentor. Leverage us. Leverage, leverage, leverage the leverage shit out of us. And also what, what I used to do is I used to, um, I, was like, I don't know if you guys know, the first two months I was doing this by myself. So um, I used to leverage Brody, even Brody wasn't doing well. So I used to jump on go lives with Brody and let my friends see it. Because when you do go lives, his friends can see it, my friends can see it, but we're just connecting. Yeah. You know, you know yeah, we're yeah. talking about the books that we read. We didn't speak about money or anything like that. Back then I still had a job. And then I'll jump with people that so I used to jump on go lives with Nick Valdez. He's from America, from some some place. He's uh, from New Mexico. From New Mexico and all that kind of stuff. So I'll just show people that I'm networking with other people. And people want to see yeah. that. We're I mean, not sitting by yourself in the office doing nothing. So yeah. that's my, that, that's what I used to do a lot. I used to do that a lot, a lot of go lives. But if you want to invite someone out, it has to be off your personal page. You can copy it to your fan page, I yeah. guess. Yeah. So, so if you guys want to do here. some like lives, we're more, more than happy to. It actually helps us anyway. So what I've noticed, um, if you if you're showing or they get, get speak to someone that has a different accent, people like to, yeah, you know, like different countries. So at least you're networking. And there's so much people from the community, right? You can mm. definitely find, but you yeah. can definitely have the same um, conversation. Just don't bring up the success. Mm. You can say that I've been able to find like my tribe. I've been able to find finally find my purpose. Um, I mm. really got in contact with who I am as a person. Mm. People want to know people if they feel good. People want to know people who feel good. Speak the truth. So back in the day, power was money and only property. Now power is knowledge, and that now that knowledge travels so quickly now mm. over internet that anyone can have it now. Yeah. Back in the day, that's like whoever had um, land had power. Now whoever has knowledge has power. Mm. I mean that's what. And that's um, this is for everyone. Whenever you guys have a lead that's interested, 
that have a couple questions that you don't know how to ask? How about some stuff? Screenshot. You guys can screenshot it but or add us in a chat. But before you open it, like, huh? no trauma that you open it, maybe try to scroll it, open it. Like, yeah. If you open it, make it seem like you've opened it. Yeah, but, but even if you take a couple of seconds mm. to reply. But sometimes it doesn't take us, sometimes it takes us a couple of hours to even see it. Or call us. <laughs> Just call us. All right. Um, any other questions, guys? No questions? All right, awesome. I can go to the next step now. Share my screen. Can everyone see my screen? Yes. You want to full screen? Yep. Everyone can see my screen? Give me a thumbs up. Awesome. So, guys, these are your tasks for success. Now, the first requirement everyone is going to be required, if you don't have one already, get yourself a damn whiteboard. Yes, my friend. Go to Officeworks, invest 20 bucks into a whiteboard and a, and a what are they called? A, a pegboard. Half, half is great. Mm -hmm. All right. The pegboard is for your, um, what is it called? I just have a vision board. I had a brain fart right there. Mm -hmm. Half is for vision board. The whiteboard is for tracking your success. Okay. So this is what you want to do. So this is what you should be doing every day, every week. This is to keep you guys accountable. This is how we keep you guys accountable. And we want to know, like, okay, this is what you should do. This is how you should do it. Okay, this will literally guide you in the right direction in order for you guys to do that. But we can lead a horse to water, but we can't force it to drink. We can teach you and do this, tell you to do these things, but unless you guys do it, this just crumbles, right? <laughs> Sales. An ad set. You need to have an ad set, either scaling it, retargeting it, or running on going. If you don't have an ad running at the moment, reach out to me because we need to get that shit running. Mm. If you're a newbie, it's fine. I completely understand. But if you've been in the business for, less, for more than a month now, you should have an ad running. Okay? No more excuses. No more, I don't want to run an, a, a story ad. I don't want to run a video ad. That doesn't work with us. You need to have an ad set. You need mm. to have an ad running. Look, it's, it's an all... A lot of the times what happens, people think that this whole business is making content. No, it's not just making content. You need to be paying for an ad. This is what we do. We you are online affiliate marketers. Run, you always run out of way. You always literally run out of way to reach a success. It's only one out of way, mm -hmm. honestly. And it was literally, for us, our first ads ever were the most successful. Yeah. Most and successful I don't know what, maybe play with it. And, and then, yeah, we just played with it. But we learned. Yeah. It's all right. Anyway, lead. You should be going, getting at least two a day. At least two a day. At least. I listen to women, yeah. Okay. You should be sending two webinars per day, whether it be organic, whether it be, um, you know, like paid. You should be sending out two webinars per day. Okay. If you're in um, Ace, please send out our webinar and we'll be doing a brand new webinar very yeah, soon. Yeah, because the blueprint is changing now. So yeah, we have to. We'll have to show them how it is. Like, you know. Okay. Um, you need to be speaking. This is right up everyone's alley and don't want no excuses, man. I want to go back to the webinar. I suggest if you guys want to start sending out, you know, web, like webinars to your leads, it's a lot more better if you're in it. Yes. It's a lot more better if you're in it. It converts, converts higher. It converts a lot more better. If it's the convert, com, conversation. Conversion? Yeah, it converts a lot more higher. Yeah. For, for you. Definitely. So we'll be um in touch about a, a, like a brand new webinar. We're gonna yeah. get Brody on there. We might have a, like a, a like a male one, a female one. We've got to see. Yeah, because what, what I've learned of Brody is you know if you're targeting just construction workers, just even have a webinar just for them. Mm. Like get in detail about just for them. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you're targeting just woman, get just woman on this uh, on this webinar. Yeah. Get in detail like instead of you having a panel beta and this and this and that. You know, if you're just targeting just con you know, like people in the labor, just have labels on this webinar. Yeah. No one else. And if you're right here today from a different platform, I recommend mm. doing that in your own thing. Mm. If the webinars, I won't lie to you guys, mm. the like the, the, the standard webinar doesn't convert very well. Okay. Mm. Out of 10 webinars that we send out, five like five of them come back, three people sign up. Yeah. That's a high, high converting webinar. Um, organic word of mouth. You should be speaking to five people per week organically about this business. Now, again, you might not get them to buy, you might raise some interest, but it's going to teach you one, how to speak to people organically, two, how to speak to your leads. Mm. It's all, ex uh, what is it called, experience, okay? 
Um, for every single ad running at the moment, you should have two backups. Yeah. If you have one ad running, two backups. If you have two ads running, four backups. What you mean by that is example, if you got the first ad running with the video ad, you know, so what it is after two, three weeks, have one backing up that video. You know what I mean? So what you do is retarget, preserve at least 50% of that the first video with the second video. Man, after a couple weeks again, again, now do a retargeting campaign. Mm. Whoever's able to watch 50% of the second video, hit them off the first video, just in case sometimes you, like, you want to get on the first time. So people at least need yeah. to see at least, and you, the, at least, at least minimum free time yeah. before even more. And the reason why we do that is because your main objective right now is mm. not just to have one ad running, it's mm. to have multiple, yeah. getting you multiple leads. Okay? Training, you all need sure. to be doing <coughs> Jordan Belford straight line persuasion. persuasion. Every single person. I'm pretty sure you guys know who Jordan Belford is, yeah? Jordan Belford is um, the Wolf of Wall Street, the movie, but originally about him. The best salesperson in the world. If you guys are added to Team Alpha Omega Hub, please let us know. Team Alpha Omega, let us know so we can um, yep. hear what the file is yep. and we'll give you the password. Okay. Read at <laughs> least, uh, read one hour per day, minimum, like minimum one hour per day. Because I always get people telling me, man, oh, what am I drop on a go live? I don't know what to say. Well, this is why, because you need to read. If you read at least one hour per day and you drop on a go live every single Monday and you read one hour before you go on a go live, you've done eight hours worth of self-development. You can at least speak for 10 minutes about something that you learned this whole week. That's how I tell people, I'm, I, I, like me and stuff, read at least minimum three hours back in the day. Now I'll probably say about, probably say about an hour and a half. Mm. But every time we drop on a go live, we have, like, we've at least pumped ourselves, at least with minimum hours worth of knowledge that week before. That's why we do this. Because your go-lives will be talking about something that you've learned. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, whatever videos you pump in, whatever you, videos you put on your story ads you've learned that day or you've learned a couple of days ago and you wrote it down. That's how we tell you guys, read. Because whatever you learn, pass it on. Yep. Pass it on, just pass it on. Yep. Next one is Ace University. You guys need to know all your platform, whatever. Mm. When I say Ace, you should, you should, Ace University, just your platform university. You guys should know your platform inside and out, upwards, backwards. You guys mm. should be watching every single video because when you start building your own team mm. and then be like, hey, man, um, where do I find this? Oh, let me go ask others and suffer. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need to be in like a leadership role. Yeah. And while we tell you, if next one is um, all meetings, attend. If you guys want to build your team, you guys have to be there first. You guys have to lead by example. No more excuses. You know what I mean, lead by example. Step into that leadership role. And you, you know, people that come for you will follow you as well. You get what I'm trying to say? No Lead by example. Guys. And if you can't attend the live meetings, you guys should be yeah. at least getting the replays. Yeah, sometimes we understand sometimes okay. we can't make it. Sometimes, 100%. Sometimes we can't make it, to be honest. But like, mm. you guys should be like getting back the replays. Just because mm. we're leaders, the first literally 12 months of this business, we attended every single meeting. And back then, there was three meetings. You recommend them. Okay. Um... Um, Next one is um, lead, uh, lead conversation training. You guys need to learn your lead conversation training because mm. you guys need to learn how to speak to leads. Now, this is a people's game. The more people that you speak to, the more likely you're going to make sales. The more people you speak to, the more likely you're going to retire your um, uh, like retire your husband, retire your, your partner, retire you guys off the work. The more people you speak to, the more ads you get out there, the more um, the lead conversation. First thing comes to my mind when talking about lead conversation is exactly what to say. You got here. Yes, book, yeah. there are a couple books that you guys, I you gave it to Philemon and Ray have this one. This is the first book that comes to my our mind when, uh, thanks Abbas for actually yeah. think. It's called Exactly What to Say, The Magic Words of Influence and Impact. It's by yeah. Phil M. Jones. Grab the audio book, the audio, the audio doesn't. You can jump on YouTube and there you go. Audio only hour. goes for an hour and a half. Jump on YouTube. Go invest yourself time and money. If you, guys like, if you guys are anything like me, I like to listen, I like audio books. Yeah, I like. I wanted. I have it on audiobook, but I wanted the hard copy too. Yeah. Um, think no, and grow rich. These are the assignments. This is this is the book that changed my life. It only cost me a dollar, but for me, I swear to God, it's priceless. I read at least at least ten minutes a day, every single day. I've read it so much times, but I still like to read it at least. I don't know. I don't know what it is about. I like to. I like. I like. I like. I like to listen to it every single day. Who wants to? Who? Who's the offer? I know. I read <laughs> it in the wrong book. <laughs> the wrong book. So I think go rich is priceless to me. I remember I was reading this book while I was doing my laps when I was working in school. I used to put my Bluetooth headphones in and walk around. And when I figured out the secret, which I'm going to tell you right now, this is what changed my life. I figured out the secret. What, they, what he does, he interviews a lot of people that have become successful. On top of my head, four people. All of them had one thing in common. 
Once I figured that out, it's like, what the hell? What the hell was going to work? I swear to God, that I was the, the that's, that's why I learned how to burn my bridges because this book t- teaches you how to burn your bridges and why yeah. you should burn your bridges. Yeah. If you want to succeed in life, you're going to burn your bridges. And Napoleon Hill, the legend, if this book was made back in 1930s, what I'm trying to say to you is mindset. Now, if you want to become successful, it's just a habit. It's, I swear, that's all it is. It's just a habit. The way we think is the way we act. And think and grow rich is very powerful because even the title think and grow rich, like if you knew how to think properly, you'll grow rich. It's powerful, it's just so powerful. I love you, Napoleon Hill. Yeah. You gotta know your product. Mm. If you're selling regen, you need to learn regen. If you know if you're selling an adjunct, you need to sell an adjunct. If you're just selling freaking Amazon store, you need to learn the product. There is no point of selling something if you don't learn know the product. It's like mm. literally punching yourself in the face. Mm. You need to learn your product. Again, learn your damn product, please. Mm. Affirmations, you should be doing it every single day. Yeah, also know your product. Where would you lead them to? The, um, um, JPM? My next one, let's find that next one. I can't, I, I, okay. I've already sent it out. Um, yeah. JPM, um, Kangen, and, Kangen and Ukon. Mm. All right? Podcasts, affirmations, you should be doing affirmations every single day. Podcasts, you need to be listening to motivational podcasts every single day. Motivational videos, you should be doing marketing training every single day. No freaking excuses. Don't come up to me and tell me, oh, I haven't done my own. You guys want to, honestly, you guys will be like, you guys will be, with it. You guys will be honestly so obsessed with it. Yeah. That's, that's the way we are, honestly. Whenever I even tell you, I see you Snapchat, I see, I see Hamza Snapchat, I see you some Snapchats. They'd rather watch a podcast than anything else. All right. Sorry, guys. I have five more minutes until my next coaching course. So I want to get you guys. Yeah. Sorry. But I have five more minutes. No, 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 no. I have a coaching course in, at nine o'clock. All right. You need to utilize the leaders, which means Abbas and Safa. Brody. And Brody. Mm. You need to reach out daily. You need to send us. Yes. You all need to send us your, your goals, your three, six, and 12-month goals, and we need to keep you accountable for that. Mm. Okay? You need to check your ads. You need to use us to check your ads. You need to use our success, and you need to be active within the team chats. Because if you're not active within the team chats, how, much, how are we supposed to know if you're still in the business? Mm. If you're not active within the chats, you don't know what's going on. Okay? And you need to season. When I say um, active within the chats, you need to season everyone's thing. Please, 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 but, but, but This please. part is very important even to us because I want to be hypocrite. Look, to be honest, I don't season my ones. That's, that's, why, why. that's why I don't expect anyone to season mine, to be honest. But if you want people to season yours, I strongly suggest to season other people's. Yes. To be honest. That's how it works. Because I'm not going to lie to you, I don't season no one. I've got no time. But if it comes across my, my news feed, yeah, I do it. definitely. I honestly do it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Business page. This is what you guys should be doing on your business page every single, every single day. Uh, you- I've got a question about seasoning. Tell me. Yeah. Um, so, say for example, like I jump on the random, say I'm the lead and I jump to lead the marketer's page. Yeah, and yeah. I go through like his his um, content, and I say um, every every content has been seasoned regularly by the same people. Do you think like that's a negative part of the seasoning? No, it's social proof. Like, um, I know it's social proof, but when you say like say for example, Abbas is going on every co- piece of content I put on my page and saying. Oh, same, thing, the same thing, like love this, love this, love this, love this, same thing, I mean, like every single person I'll say the same thing. No, not, not uh, necessarily, like just generally speaking, like um, every single content has yeah. his name yeah. as... Um, this reminds me of this conversation I had way back in the day when I had a, when I had a hater I say, look bro, every single person that comments on your ad... Yeah, that's what I mean, they might say, yeah. oh look, it's fake, oh, saying, you know the same people. people. These people, part of my, these people part of the team, part of the community. We all support each other. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, means he's had time to go through every single person. Yeah. What I'm saying is he's got time for it. He's invested. Yeah. Oh, okay. You got yourself a fan. Yeah, exactly. That's not yeah. the fans. Like, who's that, who's that commenting on Yusuf? Who's that commenting on Yusuf? Who's that commenting on Yusuf? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Follow him. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Um, that's what I call affiliate hopping. All right, thanks. Okay. Um, so you need to go what do one live a week minimum. Yeah. You need to schedule. You need to schedule your content on Sundays, and you need to do one content a day at least. And you need mm. to have quality. Please, 
please, yeah, please yeah. have quality content. Because robot, robots can copy and paste. You can drop on Google and get on talking about motivation, but any robot can do that. And if you want to be above average, man, have above average, like, you know, content, man. Honestly, like, go, go, go look at what Gary Vee's doing. Go look at people that's heavy hitters. You, you, you won't see stuff like that. You'll see always it's them. Mm. And you go above and beyond like Gary Vee. To be honest, I love that sound he makes when, before his intro comes up. Like, ding. I love that sound. It sounds amazing. If you guys can create your own sound, I swear to God, just amazing. Yeah. Whenever I hear that sound, runs up Gary Vee and I get happy. Mm. Well, at the end of, at, at the beginning of every mm. content video for Abbas and Safa, mm. we're going to have Lil Gold affiliates and everyone's going to remember that sound. Mm. Um, be omnipresent. Every single platform you should be on. Every single way people turn, you should be on. Every single, like, well, there's newcomers, you guys don't, don't know what it means. It means like Facebook, the same thing on Instagram. Put on your story. Yeah. Put on your Snapchat story. It just, it just everywhere. It's yeah. everywhere. That's what it means. Just in yeah. case you guys know what it means. Yeah. I'm in presence. Um, it's, no matter what you upload, put it everywhere. Every single platform that you, you're using, put it everywhere. Yeah. Um, please take the time to learn how to edit your photos. I have heaps of tra training on this. It needs to be pleasing to your eye. Your business mm -hmm. page needs to be pleasing to the eye. Um, you need seasoning. You need to network. Networking is absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. So what I want everyone to do is I want you guys to go reach out to other people in other, other teams and literally network. Say, can we make, can we do like a five to ten minute Zoom call? I'd love to have you on your on your. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I want to record it. I want to record it. They would be more than happy to do that, especially mm -hmm. if you give them a. a, a These copy. are the questions. These are the questions I'm going to ask you. So get prepared. That's it. Stuff yeah. like that. Um, many chat, you need to be sending out a many chat or building a many chat list so you guys can send out. I don't even care if you have five, yeah. you be, should be sending out a many chat. Okay, following up. This is there's a reason why I put this in there is because people don't know how to follow up. Mm. This is how you should follow up you follow up with the lead, mm. then you follow up with the webinar. If they've watched the webinar after they sign up, you should follow up the call. You should have a call with you before our coaching call, yeah. Okay, then the coaching call. Then you should call them after our coaching call. All right. And then we should do the sales and the form call. And then the beginning of the journey call. You know how we learned this? I swear to God, the best advertising in the world, Coca-Cola. You want to see them on the world, you'll see them next one, next one, next one, next one, until you go all the way home. I swear to God, let us keep reselling the same product. And I guarantee if it if any reminds you how good Coca-Cola is, you'll forget about them. So become a Coca-Cola, be everywhere. Every single football game, every single soccer game, every single billboard belongs to Coca-Cola. That's what I told you, just fucking stay in their face. Be in their face up until, like, until I don't even care. Until they you? Or bye. Oh, that's weird. At least go in time. Mm. Okay. This is in Team McCaw. If you guys are not added to Team McCaw, reach out to your upline or reach out to Abbas and, and I. So that way um, we're going to add you. How do you know if your content is quality? It comes from here. So no matter, let, let, you, um, let the market decide. Mm. I mean, like, we're always going to be biased, to be honest, but we also can be very honest. Mm. But you'll never know until you put it out there. And you, you, like, you, actually, you actually feel it. Like, oh, this, one, this one got two, this one got 80. And we sometimes we put content out there, get 25, and the next day it gets about 125. So you're like, okay, man, people have to see me and suffer a lot more together than us separately. Yeah. You realize that. Go to our, our fan page. You actually see when you see a photo of me and suffer together, we get a lot more than me by myself or her by herself. Yeah. It's just rule of thumb. That means there's a lot more families on our fan page, I guess. Yep. Um, yeah. Does anyone have any questions? We've got, we've got two yeah, minutes. You got to go. Does content have to be different on all platforms? No, it doesn't. Guess yeah. what? It's like, it's you exactly, can, exactly you can do the exact, exact, yeah. exact same thing. Exactly the same thing. Just save it and just put it here. Save it and put it here. Save all of our content always relates to us. Exactly. Mm. You want to relate to us, also relate to you. Also, less quotes, more you. If you want to use a quote, if you have to use a quote, take a photo of you, mm. add the caption into the photo so that way it's yours. Mm. Okay? Um, any other questions, guys? Pop them in the chat, please. Well, I'm yourself. Oh, I'm yourself. Yeah. All right, guys. That's it from us. I have a coaching call. Much love, fam. I hope you guys all got content. Please download and print out that checklist so you guys can be held accountable. Um, and we'll speak to you guys soon. Cool, we'll stop recording. <laughs>